Dr. Eclipse and his unresearched plan by Teck Whye Primary School. Theatre. <laughs> Sustained energy for the whole world. The discovery of modern machineries which use solar power will ensure that we will no longer rely on fossil fuel, and to top this, our environment will be much cleaner and free from harmful gases like carbon monoxide and. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry to disrupt your little meeting on sustaining energy and harnessing the sun's light to generate electricity and all the yada yada kabdim babdum. I have a special message for all of you. You either pay me five billion dollars or you never see the sun again. Forever. But the sun is, but the sun is still there. Shining brightly like a diamond. Oh yes. But once I use my awesome ice beam on the sun, it will not be bright and shining. It will be dark, freezing and dull. <laughs> Electricity to produce lights, so it will not be dark after all. For now, yes, but once you run out of fossil fuel to generate electricity, there will be no light. You will no longer harness solar power, as there will be no sun for you to tap for solar power. Ah, 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 ah. I'll give you 24 hours to think about it and transfer me my demands. Ah, ah, ah.
the Earth without photosynthesis will have enough oxygen to last us for about a thousand years in the terms of sustained energy. Your solar panels can gener generate electricity from artificial lights produced by your street lamps. It is just that the amount of electricity will not be as great. So, long story short, without the sun, you will still be able to live for many, many more years. And in that many, many more years, you would still be able, you would be able to find out a solution or an invention. Thank you. We will be calling Dr. Iglish right away. You will be thinking that this story will go round and round and round. But I'm afraid this is where the story has to stop. The ministers and Dr. Eclipse has ran out of money. So we do, do not seek the point of advising them anymore. Our advice does come with a price. And that is what they'll have to pay for not doing enough research on lights. Ladies and gentlemen, our knowledge about lights has just earned us more than $5 billion. And who knows, you might be able to earn more in the future by just knowing all the facts about lights. <laughs>